Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver and my Mollifar Challenge. And I figure I'll take on Morty. Mostly because I don't have any reason not to take on Morty. I could go to the Burn Tower, but I'm pretty sure my rival is more powerful than Morty is, so it makes sense to take down Morty first in that sense. I think I'll let Susie lead, though. She doesn't have the, um, move advantage here, but... It's nice to let the weakest one have experience, you know? Ah, great. Man, I hate Curse. Yeah, yeah, switch out. Mostly because if you don't switch out, Curse is still going to affect my character, so... I have every reason to switch out. Good luck with that. And Ghastly is out of here. Okay, Susie, you're back in the fight because Curse has been lifted because you got switched out. Which makes the move feel rather useless, to be honest. Oh, well, great, now I'm trapped. Truly, it's a terrible fate that befell us. I can't run away from this battle. I suppose if one of them uses Curse, it'll be more annoying. And I can't switch out, because of mean look. So I'm just going to have to take it down fast. Well, it won't be too bad. Great. I couldn't escape before. Oh wait, mean looks broken in when people switch out. Crap, I guess I could have um, switched out and feed Curse. That's alright. I got other Pokemon for this. Really, you don't have to fight this one. The invisible stairs go all the way up to the top of that one guy. Ooh, a Haunter! Which defeated Sabrina by making her laugh in the anime, which was really, really dumb. Gotcha. <sighs> Having some bad luck with that paralysis right now, dang. Thanks for the free kill there, Haunter. Perhaps. Yep. About to use Haunter, eh? Well, I guess I'll use Flame Eyes. This guy's got the chance to fight yet. Nor did he get to participate in the last episode, so... It's about time, I suppose, right? Shoot, got in a hurry and used headbutt when I shouldn't have. Well, I'm not worried about running away. You should be worried about surviving. Ah, if only I had a psychic type here. Or ground type, then I can actually use my ground moves effectively and just drop these guys. I can't remember if I gotta go further up or just over right now. Darn it. Let's see. Dig. 
Please don't get paralyzed on the ground. Okay. And another one bites the dust. Well, it's one more gone. Guess it was straight across. I need to go heal up. I wasn't expecting to take that much damage trying to cross the invisible bridge, to be honest. Stupid paralysis. If it was just Susie, I would have just kept pushing forward, but... I'd take a lot more damage than that. I've only got so many healing items, too, so... Okay, that leaves just a couple steps forward. We gotta show us, medium. Ghastly. Of course it failed, I wasn't even up top. And that's one down. This will be a bit harder. Not by much. Nice. Probably wish I'll get that lucky during my fight with Morty, though, aren't I now? And Ramon's once again in a hole. Oh yeah. And Ramon wins. I was expecting a bit more from some of these trainers, so I suppose having dig helps, right? Good of you to have come. Here in Ecroteak, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that legendary Pokemon will appear to the truly powerful trainers. I leave that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. You're going to help me reach that level. <sighs> Maybe it's more the other way around. He'll have to rise up to meet my level. Oh good, failed because I was down the hole. Okay, that's one out. Okay, here comes the first Haunter. Once again to the hole. Oh darn it. You jerk. <sighs> Darn it, it's using my own strategy against me. Just burn you up then. Stinking copycat. Gengar, eh? Little tricks won't work on him. Let's send Flame on out. <sighs> Darn it. I came prepared. I really wasn't at the wanting to use one of those first turn, but whatever. Man, Flamon, are you just super vulnerable to being put to sleep or something? 
Is your insomnia screwing you over here? Again? 50% chance three times in a row. Damn. He's making Flame On look like crap. Four times in a row. Four. Hypnosis is only 50% accurate. It shouldn't be hitting me this effectively this many times in a row. It's starting to get really unbelievable. Five? Seriously, five? This Gengar has better luck with hypnosis than I have with sleep powder sometimes. Finally, after five of them hit... Oh, two failed in a row. Go us. Ah, oh, figures it'd start working again. Hopefully I don't run out of awakenings, because I'm getting low. Just trying to fight off its hypnosis. A little bit more mud. Gotcha. Maybe. Well, after we started throwing some mud around, we got a bit more lucky with the whole hypnosis thing. Susie doesn't have any advantageous moves to bring to the table. So we'll stick with Flame On for now. And just pile on the mud. You're gonna be a mud cake by the time we're done with you. Whatever, I got one more. I didn't need to use it, but it's done. Over with. Morty's down. Okay. You're right. You're not good enough yet. Now give me my badge. Fog Badge. It's a horrible name. Level 50? Who knows got a level 50 Pokemon around now? Like, even Elite 4 isn't in the 50s. Okay. Well, that's the end of this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.